Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're playing Robocop, Rogue City. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Zero. Let's get to it. So today we're dealing with a bank heist. But before we get to that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell to be notified of all future episodes as soon as they go live. So let's get into it. Look at that. So we had a bit of a run-in with the vultures and found out what they were doing, but not why they were doing it. And that was in a previous episode. Uh, now we find out that the vultures are trying to steal all the assets from the bank and the bank vault. So we're going to try and prevent that from happening. And of course, it is an OCP bank, so of course uh, OCP doesn't want anything like that to happen to one of their banks uh, because this is probably where they keep most of their assets as well so it's good that we're uh, being sent in and of course you saw in the background earlier that there are three ed 209s that are on the case as well so they're expecting a lot of trouble and the reporter snuck herself in past the police line and into the bank for some reason, uh, either to get the story or maybe something else. There we go. Serve justice cold. And away we go. And this, right off the bat, is an efficiency challenge. So we've got the uh, other OCP officers trying to take down the bad guys and we're trying to take down more bad guys. If you succeed, I think you get some extra experience and if you do not, then you don't get that extra experience. Make sure to repair when you need to. Uh, if you're out front, you're going to hit get hit by more fire than uh, if you're more towards the back, but it'll be harder to get the uh, higher score. And of course, the guys that have more armor are going to be harder to take down anyway. Uh, and at this point, you're going to start seeing more and more enemies with uh, heavier armor. So it's going to be harder to take them down. Oh, nope, that's those guys are on our side. So there's... I don't see anything, but there must be a guy right there. It's funny how they're blowing the snot out of the wall, but not hitting the guy at all. Impenetrable. Yeah, here we go. We'll just come up here. Sure enough, he was just far enough back that he wasn't getting hit. All right, so we need to open the door for the Ed 209s. Uh, they weren't able to go through the front door. They need the uh, receiving bay door opened so they can waltz in. And I didn't see an end to the efficiency challenge. We don't want the bad guys to leave, so of course we're going to close the, the hatch there. Seal them in. Yep, it's continuing on. I uh, picked up this auto or, uh, assault rifle, but it doesn't work quite as well now that I have a halfway decent PCB board for the Auto 9. So if there is a secondary weapon that you want or that you really like using, then you can continue using it, but what? But for the most part, your Auto 9 gun is going to be the go-to. Uh, especially if you're finding the uh, PCB boards and, and whatnot. Now, the first time through the campaign, these efficiency challenges are going to be a bit of a challenge, uh, depending on how diligent you are about doing side quests and finding some of the hidden stuff within uh, the levels to squeak out as much uh, experience and 
upgrades and PCB boards that you can. So if you're mainly just doing the main campaign missions and not really worrying about anything else, it's going to be even more of a challenge. Alright, so we got to look for a breach. Can get some more health from that terminal, but it's not. Not really worth the 5%. Alright, there's guys right here. Let's breach. Go, go, go. We still have the efficiency challenge going on. Slow mo is fantastic to get some easy hits. Oh, coming in from the side. Look at that. 46, 27. Doesn't look like there's any way that they're going to be able to stop me. Uh, but they are ahead, which is going to make it a little bit more difficult. Both to get sights on the enemy and to get accurate hits. Oop, that guy's got a little bit more armor. Yeah, and they're continuing to move forward, and I'm lagging behind. Yeah, that's the only bad thing about grabbing objects to throw, chairs and monitors. Uh, they're harder to tell where they're at. 5546, all of a sudden they've caught up. Uh, almost caught up. Oh, but it's over. Robocop wins. Robocop wins. Oh, look at that. OCP container. Got some recovery charges and a couple of upgrades. Alright. Alright. So, it's always nice when you see them do the little TJ laser spin and put his weapon away. It means that there's no enemies for now, anyway. I will say that there are two secrets in the uh, bank heist. Uh, we won't go through all of them. So make sure to keep your eyes open. But OCP doesn't seem to mind that. While you're doing it, uh, to hit those. Delta City, a heaven on earth that OCP plans to build so here we go. Ortiz, uh, the journalist. There is no crime she was a big thorn in our side at the very beginning of the campaign. Unrealistic plans are not a crime. Because of the, the problem slash glitching that Robocop was City. having. OCP and now she's looking more... That's a and more to towards RoboCop for help uh, during her escapades. So she slipped in here to get some information on Delta City. And she wants RoboCop to turn the other way. So she can get away with it. You know, what's the bigger crime? Her trespassing and stealing or OCP trying to get rid of a bunch of people to build Delta City. But she doesn't have proof. It's only gut feeling right now. And you get to decide if you want to detain her or not. Now, if you've maxed out the one line on the skill tree, uh, it'll tell you which is the empathetic reply, which one is most likely to uh, enhance the relationship versus be more uh, destructive. So, depending on the choices that you make during these conversations with certain people, it will change slightly the uh, ending. So keep that in mind. All right, so that was the w other way. And here we are the, at the vault. Finally. I will not contribute to depriving my grateful employer of his hard earned savings. Nothing to see here. Doors, but you can't go through them. And nothing here. Breach. Oh, look at that. Yeah, 
I hit that guy like there was no tomorrow, and uh, he still didn't go down there. We finally got him. The Robocop. I knew our founder would send his best. There we go. We got the uh, <laughs> Becker and the bank manager. I only played dead, so I didn't end up like you with a bomb strapped to my body. He didn't want us bombs strapped to him, so he played dead. And uh, was believable enough. I need the support of a combat engineer. I saw that Orpheus kid playing puzzle games on his breaks. Ask him for help. Oh wow. That guy was playing puzzle games, so he should be good enough to uh, disarm the bomb. <laughs> and I'm out. Alright, so there is no time. I will need your help to defuse it. We got the uh, OCP intern as a uh, police officer that is doing. Are you looking for a bomb diffusing chapter in the police manual? Uh, police defusal. And he's looking in the manual to see what to do. Tell me what you see. All right, so we need to analyze the bomb first. And then go from there. Four cables, green, Four cables red, and blue. Which doesn't tell you a whole lot. There's four different clues. Four we at least know that much. I saw one down. There we go. What's the highest voltage? 24 volts. C4 block charge. It is a C4 explosive and seems to be homemade. Yeah, that's what I'd expect. And a board. Cables lead to the fuse. Does the fuse appear to be electronic? Affirmative. Okay. All right, so we got so a good scan. According to the diagram, you should detect and now, according to the diagram, we should be able to do uh, diffuse the bomb by going from low voltage to high voltage. And uh, although this is the first bomb diffusal that we have, there's going to be more, I'm certain, so uh, it's probably good to get this tutorial phase done first. Or uh, high to low, right? High to low, not low to high? Yeah, there we go. There's two red wires, so we need to make sure we get the right one. There we go. Disarmed. Don't have to worry about it. Ready to get back to business. Beggar's like, oh, everything's safe? Okay, let me come back out and complain some more. So, Beggar's been complaining about everything, every time we see him. Uh, whether it's Robocop or the police force, or how nobody listens to him. Even though he's an executive over at OCP. Blah, blah, blah. All right, vaults open, and there's one gold bar. It looks like, and that's it. Nothing what the hell else. Is this? Where is all the money? Our founder has most of our capital tied up in a very ambitious, resource-heavy project. <laughs> I can't believe old man's blowing all of OCP's money on. The old man's City. using all of OCP's money on Delta City. Ooh, look at that. Didn't see hide nor hair of Spike, but now we've got a good idea of what happened. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> see what I'm talking about? Nobody listens to me. Alright, we're down to 31%. Take a look here and... I don't know, I'm always a little hesitant to uh, 
use a repair uh, charge if there's a terminal nearby. That's kind of the uh, the catch-22 of... Ah, here we go. Here's some charges, so we can go ahead and use them up. One's not going to do it, so we'll use two of them, get up to 100%. If we come across a terminal now, oh well. Not much you can do about it. I need. I like to watch the corners as I'm going through doors. Um, not that I'm expecting, but in case there is uh, an enemy waiting for you, that uh, I'll be ready for it. Not too bad, considering. Oh, there's a guy right there. Enemy transmission. Oop, reinforcements. Unless we can get the guy that's on the reinforcements there we go. We took that guy out. I think he was a grenade launcher. Oop. Sniper. Yeah, after you see him once, all of a sudden you start seeing them at regular intervals. Yeah, that guy must be further down. Yep. Yeah. Now we got more guys that we have to worry about. I will say that once you get to far enough in the game, uh, when you start getting more powerful weapons like the uh, assault rifle, the RBS that has the scope on it, or the grenade launcher, or rocket launcher, anything like that, those secondaries I enjoy. And then the until that time, the heavy machine gun is great as a secondary weapon or a primary weapon before you start getting into the uh, PCB boards or upgrades for the Auto 9. The melee guys have heavy armor. At the beginning not so much but as you go through more and more Now, of course, everything relies on what difficulty level you've got the game set on. Uh, you can set it at the beginning, and then you can't change it. So, for the first playthrough, unless you're uh, asking for trouble, you might want to go normal or hard. And then after you've gone through it once, then all of a sudden you can jump it up to uh, extreme if you want, or whatever the highest setting is. Yeah, there is a terminal there. I could have topped off my health, but it wasn't that important. Now, as you can see, I don't have any active skills, so depending on what... Yeah, this is a good, bad spot to be in. Got uh, bikes going in every direction. End up in the middle of everything. Get uh, sandwiched between a bunch of them. Got to keep your eyes open, but you also have to look at the top, at the uh, compass to make sure that you don't see any red lines like that. All of a sudden, a whole bunch of red lines pop up in front of you. Breach, and we got a couple seconds of... Oop, need to get rid of that grenade launcher. Ooh, that guy with the machine gun or a uh, shotgun just popped up and was like, hello, pow. I didn't see how much uh, health he took off, but I'm sure it was a lot. Now, depending on what skills you spec into, uh, 
uh, will change your engagements by a considerable amount. Because if you put a lot into armor, then you're going to take less damage. Because uh, your passive is going to be just taking less damage overall. And then you've got your specific skill tree uh, skills that pop up. It's like, oh, you get an active uh, skill where you take 80% less damage for a short time. And if you top it off, small arms fire just bounces off of you. So depending on what you want to spec into into your first playthrough, it will change how the game plays uh, both in engagements and in how you uh, talk with other people, etc. I am listening, Craig. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be Why sure to check us out on social media and thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time. We had an agreement. We held our end of it. And apparently it slipped his mind to pay us for our services. Well, that didn't sit well with us. So now we're out to get what we're owed. The only thing you are owed is a prison cell. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm a vulture. I need my space. I'll see you around, cop. PlayStation.